begin. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round, aka the Not Spooky Bones Round. We're back with more Alan Wake. I am your host, John Mukiwara JM. Joined, as always, by my co host, Rainbow767. Hello, everybody. All right, and chapter episode five of Alan Wake simply does not want to fucking end. What? Yep. Al and, and this troll like doesn't want to either. Sorry, you were saying? Before I was interrupted by birds. No, it's like no, it's like it just. Alan Wake just loves keep loves to keep uh, throwing shit in our face. Like, yeah, you thought. And most of it's the same thing. Like it hasn't gotten old yet. <laughs> right, here they come again. Birds. Oh, of course. As I'm being attacked by birds. Mary, right, you got that flare gun. Oh, they didn't warn me that time. I got a couple of them that time. Mary, Sheriff Breaker, Sarah. The crash site looked bad. But as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. So wait, what? I guess. Wait, hang on. Oh, flares. So there's a flare trail. Oh, uh, yeah, they left the kind of trail of flares to let us know that we're, they're alive. Yep, yeah, there's another one. Ooh, flare. There they are. Whew. Use that flare gun. Or flare. Or... You know what? Yep. Yeah. Bitch. Come one, come all. So, who wants to dance? Well, that was just the name of the achievement I got. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? It was your joke. Lead us at the dam. When you spend most of your night running uphill while the crazy bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with an axe, you know your helicopter crash landed in uh, Night Springs. Barry, is this your version of you might be a redneck jokes now? No, I think this is just his terrible, shitty, cliche way of saying, You're in a horror novel! See those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. That's basically what this is. I love that it was pointing right at them. It's everywhere! Oh. Right behind you! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's the fast ones. Ah, Al, do something. The one I put the Flintstones running noises over. I can't You mean it wasn't already?
See, that's why I don't like the rifle, the hunting Turn rifle, because it's only got five oh, shots. That was... wow. I think we're okay. Please. Please tell me we don't have to move from here. Hey, ow. I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Heads up! Here they come! Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! We have to hold them off! I killed that one. See, I feel like this game would have been better as a co-op. Oh That's man, that would that would actually would have been fun. That like like one of those um like that one game that where you have to place two a way out. Oh, that would be a fun one for you and me. Oh god. Whew. Have you played that one yet? I have. It's... Did you finish it? No. Oh, uh, okay, then we definitely have to play it. And Austin wants to do his uh, his uh, new game that he did, which is also the same thing. It's like co-op. But, yeah, um... I feel like Alan Wake would have been better as a co-op game. Well, maybe considering what little I know about the future of Alan Wake, maybe it could- maybe the next game could be one. I doubt it. Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got That's even if behind. the future Alan Wake actually Gee, does do something. Be a little mm. more vague? Again, Thomas I haven't played Control game. yet, but uh, they are hinting at a uh, Might as well be Paul the next game is going to combine the yeah, well, going to combine the universes of uh, Alan Wake and Control. Let's be careful, okay? Oh, jeez, I hate this. Okay, wake. There's a button over there that opens the door. I saw it before you said anything. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Hold the button down. All right. You gotta hold it. I knew that was gonna happen. should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. I only promise to try. I'll take good care of Barry, Wake. You just look after yourself. Oh, boy. Whoa, Shay. Oh, no. The barrels are going to kill me now. Checkpoint. I still remember when God talked to us and he beamed down a gun. <laughs> well, damn. That's your penance for that shitty gun! Yeah, I can't say I didn't earn it. Well, as long as no barrels hit me on the way up like last time. I was ridiculously outnumbered. 
The searchlight could even the odds. Yeah, searchlight behind you could even the odds. Oh. And turn it on their asses. It's like a cannon. Now, you know what it reminds me of? Remember that one spiral level with like the pyramid where you melt the snowman? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Right there to your left. Oh. I see one way in the distance. There he is. Uh, they might be stuck behind something. Wait. No, that was a helmet. Might have to draw them out. Oh, there he is. Well, you didn't want me to go further, but you made a path for me. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, yeah, damn. You gotta, you gotta be careful of that. Ah, no. Yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta be careful because that's like I was turning it, and then he fell down anyway. I guess for some of these, I gotta jump. All right. Well, that answers that question. There it is. It's already here. Coffee. All right, here we go again. This is the part I was talking about. Well, one of them. One of them. Oh, look, it's about to get worse. Oh, no, that's Barry and Sarah. And who's this? Oh, it's, uh, the lady. Oh, 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 oh. That was the part you were dreading? No. It's part of it. Hey, I just can't check the guide. Guess what? No this is the end of episode five.
was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late. And I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> All right, then. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother offered him a switch. She called the flicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all the power, she learned that it had been given to her by wow. Alan's father. Alan never knew him, but wow, anything wow, wow, his wow, took wow. mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep That is the voice of Max Payne! My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. The same voice actor for Max Payne was the same voice actor that played Thomas Zane. I can Zane. get to her now. Mm. I can finish this. I'm gonna have to mute this too. Episode five finally done. We're on the last one now. Shut up. Previously on Alan Way, Lady of the Light, a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the seventies. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath. Oh, that is Max Payne. Himself. Now that I listen to him again. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Because so, I watched uh, Gerard recomplete it for the uh, completionist on uh, stream once. Yep. Not much so, of it, but enough to hear the voice. Yep. Are we going back to the real sane world for once? No, this is a flashback. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Get sunglasses and painkillers. Uh, Alan. Uh, <sighs> the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Painkillers picked up. Not being able to see, I didn't see how many I, I digested. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Ah, Tivos. Is any of this still around? Nope. Because DVR basically wiped them off the map. The way Netflix wiped off Blockbuster. Yeah, basically, like, you can have a DVR, whether you have cable or satellite. Yeah. Selling author Alan Wake about his new book, The Sudden Stop. 
Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. Damn. His friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. It sounds like it's gonna go on forever, so let's keep moving. Lots of parties and, um... You gotta Unless I have to watch this. You have to. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know um, that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous. Now, the game says you can skip it if you want to. You just have to shut off the TV. Well, I did also write several books. <laughs> Who's still playing? Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? You Go back to sleep, Alan. Uh, uh, you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Mar Married her voice. It was not a quiet vacation. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. See you later. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flipped the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. <sighs> you know, after about four years of having this in the back line, I can't believe it's almost over. <laughs> Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. 
Ah, I could coffee. still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief. Oh, God damn it! Like heart <laughs> no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Can you hear me now? <laughs> no. No, I, I work for Sprint now. Oh my god, the texturing on the roads is loading as I drive by them. You see them on the side? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess my cough isn't totally gone, but whenever I laugh, it, it comes back a little bit. Yeah, part of the why we didn't record more of this earlier is because I got fucking sick on Halloween. It, it That sucks shit. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people starting to get sick again, so... Yeah, I, I, I think I caught something at Anthony's wedding. So it's, I'm, I'm, someone must have had something and I, it just passed on to me. Wasn't COVID, thankfully, it was just fucking allergies. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us, always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. What's this, Alan Wake? An open area where I can fight these things fairly? Surely you must. Surely you jest. Oh no, the game said, yeah, I'm limiting your ammo and your batteries. Mm. Oh, I can drive another car. I mean, after all, this isn't really. Hey, right. it looks like the car. Looks like the car that you crashed in the beginning. It very well could be. I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, I'm not stopping. Not when I can just run him over. Gotta jump the ramp. Oh no, not the barrels. Of course I have to get out, don't I? Why are you going backwards? Um, good question. Oh. This will fuck me over if I don't do it, so I'm gonna have to go to the checkpoint. Told you, yeah. I was like, why the fuck would you turn around? I thought I had to fight him, but I guess I don't. But, um. And I'm just looking around for some supplies left by people. Oh no, not evil barrels again. <laughs> oh, not tires too. Is that the deer in the distance again? Now the whole bridge is trying to kill me.
Damn it. <laughs> there was a double on the ground. No, that was the only one. I don't know, should I throw a flashbang or a flare at these things? Yeah, they flare. close. Damn it. It's not like I can shoot him either. Man, Man, do you got, maybe I do you have, have to flashbang. You have flashbang. Yeah, I think I have to flashbang the parts of the bridge that are coming apart. Yeah. But like those barrels, you can use flares. Your flashbangs. I just hope I have enough to cross. Uh, oh, no. That one, that one, I don't know what happened. Oh, this is gonna be so frustrating. It's not that bad. There we go. That takes care of those. It goes back to that, oh, when you're casually playing a game, when you get serious and you sit up. That's basically how I am right now. I'm just like, you know what? Normally I would just bullshit, but it's like now we're getting serious because we're getting so close to the end, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, <sighs> well, because of my chair, I have to sit like that anyway, which I'm glad of. Because, like, with my old chair, I would slump in my chair for some reason, and that was fucking yeah. up my back, and now I don't do that anymore. <laughs> That did my back, my tailbone, no uh, favors. What the hell? <sighs> I wish there was something in the guide about, you know, what combination to use. Like, oh, use flares on certain parts or use flashbangs on certain parts. It probably or... does tell me. I just haven't read that far. Uh, well, I still have it up, so let me see. I have it on my phone now. Yeah, definitely check if there's, um, if there is 
cross the possessed bridge by, by frying the items, then resting wake until he recovers his life completely. Try to have as much life as possible for provoking the crane. Okay, so so it's basically just um, fry everything with whatever I have, and then wait till Alan's recovered, and then move forward. Because that's what's messing me up. I keep I'm, I'm trying to cross while I don't have a whole lot of life. It's menacing. It's a barrel. What the hell? And it's and it yells like a dragon. Oh, I just want to whistle around. <laughs> it's like this is for eating the guide. I'm getting real tired of you. Alright. Just wait for Lake to recover. Now, what will also help is the flashlight will recover too. Yeah. You have to admit that was that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! That, that that was the game saying "fuck you." <laughs> like you're a strategy guy. Fuck you. You know what? Yeah, that too. Oh, there's one still around. Ah, uh, that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the deer. It was a crane. Yeah, it didn't say something about you had to. You had to wait for the crane or something? Uh, something about... And so you fight the crane. Try to have as much <laughs> as life possible before provoking the crane into attacking. Uh, okay, so you gotta basically... Try and... Have as much life as possible... And then... Provoke the crane. Mm-hmm. Alright, so what I, what I just did earlier worked, but... Flare on these things because they're just, even though they're objects, they're just like the people. 
You flare them, they, they stop moving. Yeah, or in, in this case, um, they, they disappear. Well, I was worried that if you flare them, they'd still hit you and wait, but... No, they... Uh oh no, they... I almost walked off. Uh, let's let him recover. Ah, oh, there it is. Run for that car because yes. Checkpoint. All right, should we, should we call the episode here? Yes. All right. So next time in the super bonus round slash not spooky bones round is next time the last one. Probably not, but let's find out anyway. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. See ya. And happy Thanksgiving, probably. Yeah.